Welcome back to the BCIT Passive House video series. Today we're going to be talking about the windows and how they're high performance and how they differ from a regular building install. So for the, uh, these Passive House windows, we've actually set them out inside the insulation layer. This kind of makes that insulation layer continuous with the windows as part of that system. And then in terms of uh, window sealing and uh, air sealing, we actually use this product from Seagoff called Fentrum Tape. And that just gets taped around the entire windows to give it that nice tight air seal. This is a nice, uh, it's a breathable tape so that it is uh, wind and waterproof from this side, but from the inside you can actually dry the building out. Your, your envelope can still breathe, right? That's really what you want to be able to do. Um, on the inside we'll use a white Fentrum and basically it's kind of actually, both of them they breathe different ways, right? So basically you can let air in from one way and it'll stop air from the other way. Um, basically two tapes, two different areas, one from, very important that you don't mix them up, right? If you put the white one on the outside, then it's acting totally opposite of what, what you want your building to do. So these are the high performance windows that have arrived from Austria a few weeks ago. Uh, the frames came first and they started getting installed and then the windows actually, the glazing component came afterwards. So the windows are actually quite heavy. So they've got these high powered suction cups and they're bringing them all through the house or maybe if some of them can get directly installed on the front. Today we're gonna to be doing some craning of sealed units. So we're doing the triple glazed glass again with a vacuum cup. <clears throat> Basically it's a powered vacuum lifter. So we hook it up to the crane, uh, it attaches by vacuum to the glass and then by that aspect we can crane the glass up to the level of the floor we need, install it into the frame, I think about 1150 pound units um, into place onto the third and second levels of the home. If you look um, at some of these frames, they're installed with a fiberglass angle instead of an aluminum angle and that's for thermal bridging property so basically that's one of the differences for the passive home is we're using a lot less conductive materials. We've had to use a lot of grid lining and layout procedures in order to get them right where they need to sit. The glazing techniques are very similar like we'll, we'll use vacuum cups on any heavy glass over 800 pounds and then the the aluminum framing is thermally broken again with foams and so the installation methods are very similar, but it's a lot of different products and a lot of different procedure. We're doing a lot more uh, thermally insulated frames uh, for the energy efficiency, especially on these passive homes. Um, we're using triple glazed glass, so three panes of insulated glass, uh, usually with a low E, low emissive coating for like U-value reflection, which basically keeps heat in and heat out at the same time. I just did the BCIT Passive House uh, Tradesperson Certification and what that's done for us is that's basically gotten us into the realm of doing these passive home constructions. Of course actually offered me a lot of building knowledge which was really good for me to know just how the home works instead of just the window systems and how the window systems work. Passive House you do um, count on the solar passive heat gain and say if you would have a project in the city, if like a tree or a neighboring house or the orientation um, are not advantageous, it's harder to achieve passive house than say at our project because of the orientation. I think the, the values for insulation that we need to meet are much more relaxed because of the, the optimal um, location to, to face south. So we have also, you know, decks and overhangs that protect the, the window openings during the summer, but then in the winter when the sun is lower, then we can calculate in the positive effect of the solar heat gain in the winter. Mm -hmm.